So that's where uh, those songs become as short as they are, right? Because we just delete one part. We just don't replace it, we delete it. They didn't delete it. I like that a lot. Um, I think that's cool. They, they visually look absolutely amazing. I wouldn't even say this looks too cheap either. I'm actually pretty excited now. I would say this, this made me more excited about the future. I really, really hope the copium take on June actually uh, gives us new Ua content and hopefully music, obviously. <laughs> I have not heard anything of this. I think maybe I've seen a short of the of the teaser that came out um, yesterday or, or two days ago or something. Um, I feel like I did. So I, I've heard like a few seconds, but I kind of forgot again. So I've, I've heard the ba basic melody maybe. That's really about it. Um, I don't really remember any visual though. So yeah, uh, Ur with blush. I do really like Ur. Now they have their rebranding. They're now all caps lock without the exclamation marks. Feels kind of weird, but um, I don't know. I guess <laughs> I don't know. Weird. I don't know what I should do in the in the thumbnail. Should I just put the f uh, exclamation mark anyway? Not sure. But let's check it out. Ua with blush. Uh, once again, I don't know what they look like. Let's get it. Three, two, one. Click play. More Ua ratios in a pin comment in a playlist. I've heard mixed things about this, so I'm I'm uh, nervous. It's been a long time that they came back, but they might potentially come back in June again. There's some kind of rumors about that. I like the vocals so far from Zora. It's kind of an R&B beat. This shot here with the bubbles, in particular. This one here, with I guess that's Lucy, I believe. Um, we also had one earlier where. Uh, let me find that. Yeah, this one with Nana. I don't know why this reminds me of something. I don't. I can't put my head around it. What it was. Some other K-pop music video for sure. I want to say it, it keeps ringing either. Like pink whistle? No, it can't be it, right? Because of the the universe behind. Maybe some ice one stuff. Maybe something twice. I don't know. Just some time for real. Yeah, exactly. Hello there, Jerry. So I'm not so sure what this reminds me of, but it reminds me of something. Conceptually, that that hat is it? It's is that Minso, right? No, no, that's that's. Is it Uyan with the devil hat? Because <laughs> that's Minso there. I can't tell who that is with the devil hat, but that's cute. Lucy, that was Lucy as well, okay. She'll be showing up a lot then. I don't mind the beat so far, pretty cool. Okay. You don't like this, Jerry, right? Thank you for telling me that because that really underselling it and it makes me have low expectations. But I actually think I like this. Dance is really cool. I mean, Nana's outfit in itself is really, 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 really awesome. Like, I love how they essentially they she has two pants, right? Like, I was thinking, what what is going on there? But it's literally jogging pants, and then we have a lot of like ripped jeans with a lot of holes there. Um, it just looks really cool though, and the the body wave movement in the chorus is really nice. I I enjoy this choreography once once again. Like, Ua is always known for good choreo, but yeah, I enjoy that so far. Don't like the song, that's it. You like everything else? Hmm. It flows well to me so far. Is this group, by the way, are all members 18 plus now? Are they like all adults now? Can they do sexy concepts or are they still minors? I don't know about Minso. <coughs> they are? Okay. So I feel like they're kind of going in that direction a bit, right? That's why I'm asking that. Hi Mono, good evening. 18 to 22, okay. Minso's the 18 year old. I assume. I'm pretty sure she was the magnet from my remembrance. I feel like. Money. I feel like wait, I feel like. Wait, it sounds like I feel like money? <laughs> and also, what is that goo in her hand? 
Yeah, what exactly is that? Is that like uh, body lotion because she's technically showering, or like maybe I don't know what exactly that's supposed to be. I feel like money. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I feel like money. It's all I hear there. <laughs> Hi, Sean. I cannot unhear that. <laughs> Ain't no way. Oh, another twice uh, reference right there. Moonlight Sunrise, good one. And she looks great. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. The Ua camcorder. Okay, um, I think we got enough of the song so far to to have like a talk about it. So I personally want to say, I've said this in the case of live reaction to Midas Touch, I think, recently. Uh, Ua is back, Ua with exclamation mark, exactly. How do you like it, Sean? Um, so I've said it in the case of live reaction. I think case of life is going a direction where the sound very much suits in right into the the sound that is popular uh, these days among certain girl groups. So there's girl groups like New Jeans, there's groups like used to be 50-50, uh, maybe a little bit from us 9 right now. Um, what is another good example? Mm, I don't know exactly another good example. There, there was another one I had in my head, but I'm not sure right now. Uh, maybe XG a little bit as well. So it's definitely a lot of R&B influence, but it's like a dance pop um kind of kind of style right it is very like background music if you want to will if you want to say that um and this very much also suits that honestly i think this just fits right into that kind of sound so it is definitely modern it is definitely fitting to current k-pop um style i don't know who the fuck that is in the back there by the way i just noticed there's some guy sitting with a yellow mask <laughs> wait <laughs> Who's that there in the back? <laughs> Wait, I'm not tripping, right? That's a, that's like someone sitting there with a yellow mask. And someone else there as well. As much as I love my girlies, the song is just too generic. Generic is a word you can argue about, to be fair. So I want to do that at the end of this. Um, if this is, for me personally, considered generic or not. Because I did reference it um, and, and, and like compared a little bit to the New Jeans um, kind of trend that they began, right? And um, some people do think that is generic, that's true. You want a headbanger instead? Not a Mario Kart trick. Mario Kart trick, interesting. I kind of I kinda know what you mean. <laughs> oh, the outfits are beautiful, man. God damn, she looks so good. Hey, we have some OE online. Was that OE on or Sora actually? I couldn't tell. Oops. Sometimes I confuse those two still. It is what it is. Man, Ninso is so adorable in this. And also kind of hot at the same time. How is it I'm really? I feel like I'm really. I have to see the Korean lyrics. It must be a Korean word. Ooh, the breakdown. It's a Sora rapper. Uh huh. What about Lucy? Minso. Oh, I love this. Dum, 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 dum. Wait, I'm I'm so tripping. By the way, I have to ask this as uh, I feel a bit bad to ask this sometimes because I technically know their faces well enough. But I mean, it's been a long time now. To be fair, and I've I've not seen teasers. But who's this in the center right now? Is it? Is that Minso? The kind of rap part here? That's Nana. Okay, I was I was debating between the two. 
I wasn't sure, but it looks a lot like, like, it doesn't look like Nana that much, to be honest. Also, she doesn't have these kind of parts. It's just that, like, it's like atypical for Nana. I feel like this kind of cutesy, uh, rhythmical part. <laughs> to me, it's like they were after the easy Bell the Seraphim sound, like close to that. Hmm. Yeah, easy definitely fits in that too. In that style. Oh my god. Bro, that okay, that must have killed you, Jerry. <laughs> every every Uyon buy is absolutely dead right there. Holy shit. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> ain't no way. <laughs> ain't no way they did that shot. Okay then. You make me wanna push her, push Ooh, the jumping. Oh, I have to watch a choreo video, man. That was still really good jumping. Most. Some some more basic moves in there as well for sure, but hey, you have to do those sometimes. So it looks beautiful. That was Uyon actually not so on my bad. Well, the facial expressions are kind of carrying me in, as per usual. Love it. Oh. A lot of them have contact lenses, I feel like. Nana had like purple. We only had like some kind of gray blue. And I feel like Minso also has blue. Hmm. Yeah, I really like this kind of style in K-pop right now. I'm gonna say it. To me, this is not generic. To me, this is just the next, um, the next sound, the next new modern sound that K-pop is do being dominated by. And I'm, I'm talking maybe mainly about girl group K-pop because I really only follow girl groups these days, and um, that's all I really know much about, right? So I, I can't really speak for boy groups, but I feel like girl groups have always had faces, right? Like we've had the girl crush. Um, face with Blackpink in particular uh, doing really well at that and then everyone kind of jumping on on the hype train of doing like a badass hip-hop concept um, with a lot of rap. Then we had the EDM phase. EDM phase was very long. We had a, a minor um, city pop uh, phase, um, say Everglow La Dida and, and G-Friend Margo and generally speaking G-Friend kind of did that sound a little bit. So we had that phase right after EDM, I would say, and EDM was really fucking long. Most people were really, really bored by EDM. And I feel like after EDM, there was no new modern sound. The only thing I noticed, however, is that um, less and less focus on rap parts in girl group songs. And um, that creates space, right? It creates space for new things. So I feel like that is probably an experimental phase right after EDM stopped being like big. And then... Honestly, new genes kind of already happened, right? I guess we kind of had a small phase of Espa dominating a lot, uh, and and we had like this this uh, sexy cute phase where we had Ive and and Espa, especially Ive is more the sexy cute one, and Espa was kind of still doing the the baddest girl crush concept that a Blackpink would do. Blackpink obviously also kept doing that uh, whenever they had a comic, which is not too often to be fair. So I wouldn't really <laughs> name them um, a genre defining artist, except really kickstarting the uh, badass girl crush concept in 2016. Other than that, I would say they kind of are just doing their thing. Um, but obviously, they still existed as well. And then we have a group like Idol, for example. They are very gen genreless, which creates like all kinds of different things. So we had different different phases. And now I feel like ever since uh, New Jeans debuted um, and other groups, you know, jumped the train a little bit and tried to um, also do a sound similar to New Jeans and obviously a lot of them have succeeded at that. I think Haiki probably also falls a bit under that now. Um, yeah, there's so many groups you can really put into that into that uh, category of their, they're having their jab at this concept, at this um, style. I personally like it. I think it's cool. They definitely, like, I would say this, this style is a little bit easier to execute, right? Um, you can't really fuck it up as much. You can definitely do it. You can still make a boring song in the same style. Definitely can. But it is less likely to, to, to fuck up, I would say. And 
um, it leaves so much freedom for them to experiment because if you have a base that is really unrisky, means you don't have to worry too much of hitting like the nail on the head. You just kind of do it anyway and then you just experiment on top of that. And it, if you do it well and blend it well together with the the style that a lot of groups are going for, right? Just like, let's just call it Eugene style. Um, I don't know what else to call it right now. Then you have so much going for yourself because you can have the safe concept, um, a song that a lot of people also these days enjoy. Personally, I do too. I think this is, uh, I guess, maybe like a, an evolution of lo-fi for me. I'm never really a big lo-fi person, but I, I definitely see some influences as well. And, and like, I hear a bit of it uh, as well. So I like it. But then on top of that, we get experimental shit happening. I think it's cool. And uh, got, coming back to Ua with Blush, um, again, I'm not sure how long I'm going to need time to get used to the, the writing of the name. But other than that, the song, I like it. I think it's cool. I think they have a lot of variation in the second half in particular. I think the bridge part was really long uh, with the rap and then into the bridge, which is really cool. Um, a lot of the uh, groups that joined this concept and I have to say this is a basically three minute song, right? I mean, I don't know how long it exactly is on. Is it now Ua without the exclamation mark? No, it's still here. Um, I don't know how long the 258, yeah, it's a three minute song. Um, that is actually pretty long for this kind of style. And I know why, because they had the rap part right before the bridge. Um, that is usually something a lot of the, the groups and artists that do the style kind of delete by now. Or like really do it only shortly or do something else in there, but really short. So that's where uh, those songs become as short as they are, right? Because we just delete one part. We just don't replace it, we delete it. They didn't delete it. I like that a lot. Um, I think that's cool. They, they visually look absolutely amazing. Um, I wouldn't even say this looks too cheap either. I'm actually pretty excited now. I would say this this made me more excited about the future. I really, really hope the Copium take on June actually uh, gives us new Ua content and hopefully music, obviously. Um, yeah, if that happens, if we actually get a mini at the least, that would be great. Then I think they could actually do some damage in the K-pop industry. I'm actually pretty excited now. Personally, um, this is not like a banger, obviously, but to me, this means they... So, so if a, if a Nugu group does the style that all the big K-pop groups right now are doing well, um, they, they, let's just say, copy it or they, they try to take on it and they do it well and actually sounds good, like it doesn't sound off or it doesn't sound like or seem like they don't fit that style, that is really good already, right? Like, even if you don't like the song as much, for example, here, Jerry in my chat is not the biggest fan of it, even though he's a big Ua fan, this can be a good base for the future. This showcases they can... They can pretty much hang with the big guys. They can. That is really big. You know? That's a big like hello there we here, you know? If they if they have some good fucking songs, they can they can literally pull a 50-50 and pop off in uh, in TikTok. Even this song can, honestly. So really big for them. I'm very happy. Um and I'm looking forward to more. I'll read some comments before we end the reaction on YouTube. As a Uyon old and so Reka, I'm eating really good this coming yeah. I can see that. They had a lot of uh, focus on those two. Uh, and Nana, obviously. I feel like Lucy had a lot less than usual and Minzo wasn't all too much either. Which is usually uh, the same anyway, so whatever. Uh, I kind of like it. It doesn't feel that substantial, but that's current sound. Exactly. Vibe being the most important. Yeah, it, it's a vibe and also what you make with it, right? Visuals and dance. And, and like character. Whatever you put on top of it, basically. It is also really important. I don't have any tissue. That sucks. I don't, okay. My nose is not quite running, but I feel like it will soon. Anyway. Um, I'm sure whatever they teased for June will be a full mini album. Clueless. <laughs> I hope so. It's not a bad song for me. It's just kind of meh. Where's my upbeat Ua? They do have good upbeat songs. They are true. The bridge was the best part of the song, hands down. I agree. I probably agree with that. You're with Jerry here. It's meh for me as well, but you feel like uh, with a lot of songs nowadays... Yeah, so maybe this is just kind of not your kind of era in K-pop then, huh? You take a world tour, world tour as well, but that's even harder, Copium. If they do a world tour and don't have a comic before that and only go with this as the newest comic, that's cringe. They wouldn't do that. That's really stupid. So if it's a world tour, it definitely has to come with another comic. Part of my disappointment comes from the fact that I waited one and a half years for this. What do you expect, though? What did you expect? 
if you expected another kind of bad girl, then let me tell you, if you put out a song that is any similar way of bad girl right now in 2024, nobody would look at them at all. Catch the Stars, okay, or Catching the Stars. I mean, fair enough, that song was kind of like an anomaly, right? To be fair, that was kind of an anomaly. That was a really fucking good song, very timeless as well. You cannot always hit that, you know? I think this is really smart, because this is essentially, for me, a base, what they can build on, as I said earlier, but at the same time, it also kind of pokes the people. It's pretty much tries to maybe sneak a, a viral hit on TikTok. At the same time, it also pokes the fans and sees, uh, and, and, and they see, hmm, do the fans bite this? Do the fans still vibe with this? Do the fans still support them uh, the same as they did before? I personally think, even if you don't like this, you should. You should stream it, you should support them as much as you can, because this is... I, I, I'm pretty... I, I'm gonna be the clown of the clowns, okay? If they put out a music video like this, I mean, I kind of thought the same when I watched Catching the Stars, because that was such a high-quality song and, and like, production uh, out of nowhere, in my opinion. Um, but I feel similar here, especially with the visuals, which is actually a very big thing these days in K-pop, right? Visuals is really important, like concepts and outfits and everything is really important so because if you go viral with the song bro they get brand deals so fast it's incredible so what i think my clown tick is on this the fact that what is their fucking company called now not envy anymore but i don't know the, the company uh the fact that their company published this and put actually quite a lot of effort in my opinion into this especially in the visuals and the concept um actually tells me they have a lot of things planned for them. SSQ, okay. I actually think they have a lot of things planned for them. This is... Could also be a, like a hit or miss, right? Like maybe if this goes completely blep and nobody watches this, maybe they'd be like, okay, maybe we just never do anything for Ur again and just kind of slowly let them die out. But I don't think so. I think this is actually a good idea, a good uh, tackle into the industry. I like it. You did not. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> At least you're out of the dungeon. Oops. <laughs> they released a lot of reels on Instagram even before the music video. Oh, cool. Do they still do TikTok? Because their TikTok was one of the bigger ones, right? Like, they had a really big TikTok compared to other um, people. I mean, they were, like, very early with TikToks. Um, they they, they kind of jumped in on very early. And I guess TikTok is kind of dying. I don't know. I don't use TikTok anymore. I feel like it is less relevant than it used to be, but maybe I'm wrong. They just started again, but it kind of died during her hiatus. Ah, their own TikTok died. Mm, that sucks. So they, they actually didn't even post TikToks. I didn't know that. I thought they still did that, at least for fun, you know, trying to keep the ball rolling and everything. The company fucked up bad with just not doing anything. Yeah, that, that's true then. I agree. Anyway, uh, we'll end it here for YouTube because that's quite a long video, but I, I want to talk a lot about Ua because I like Ua. So that's my Ua blush reaction. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the ride and um, let me know what you think about the song and my takes. Our oh, takes, whatever. Discuss in the comments. Um, once again, more Ua reactions. I reacted to basically everything from them, I would say, uh, in terms of music videos and quite a few of the dance practices or choreo videos as well. Um, then you can find a playlist in the pinned comment. Uh, as well as a link to my Patreon where I have reacted to a few of their albums as well. Have a nice day. Peace.